Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating my breakfast nook. If you saw my last video, I recently painted my breakfast table. It was black. It is now this beautiful blue color, but now I want to dress up the entire area and make it kind of look like a finished space. So that is what we are doing today. I did start the footage as I was painting the table. So like both the decorating and the table painting were happening simultaneously, which is why you'll see the table back to black at one point, and then I'll bring it in when it's all done. And you've probably already seen the done table, but if you want to see how I painted it, if you missed that video, I will link it below. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So what I want to do next in here is work on this wall. As you can see, it's just like a big blank wall. We have a window here out to the backyard and then another window out to our patio, but this is completely blank. And when you like walk over, it just looks very empty right there. And so there's not a ton of space from here to here and you still need to be able to walk around the table to get to the back chair. I mean, you can walk that way as well, but um, you know, you need to be able to scoot out your chair. So I don't want a huge like wide thing right here. I've been looking for ages for, um, like a sideboard or something right here, but most of them are 22 inches wide, which I understand it's like a buffet. It's meant to like serve on. I just, I don't think I have room for that. So I'll show you what I got in a minute, but also I have to choose between these two things, I think, um, for what I'm gonna put above it. I got this uh, painting. It is hand painted someone I don't know, was artistic enough to paint it because it's on a canvas and they framed it. But I got this at the auction for $5. Uh, and it reminded me of a trip we took to Idaho when we went um, fly fishing. This is very like reminiscent of the scenery. So I really, really like this picture. Um, and this wall is big enough to support it. Now, the only reason I'm thinking about not doing that there is because I'm wondering if a mirror wouldn't help reflect light from here. And I feel like that's important because my house does not get very good light. And so I have this mirror, I've had this for ages. It used to sit um, on a dresser in my bedroom in the other house. It is from an antique mall also. I don't think it's antique, it's vintage, but it's big and it can mimic, I think, a window which might look kind of cool because it'll like add symmetry. So I might try that, but let's go ahead and put together the table that I got for over here. And that way I can show you what we're working with. Okay, now that this area is all set up, I want to decorate. So I'm gonna show you, this is all the stuff I have laid out. This is how I decorate things. I basically just pull everything that I have that I might want to use, and then I'm just gonna play with it. You are going to see me put things here and there and everywhere, and I'm gonna switch it up 
and what you see is not going to be how it ends up because I always change my mind, but this is just the process. I'm always trying to just figure out what I feel like looks best, but this is what we're working with. The other thing I'm going to do is add in all my cookbooks, at least my pretty ones, because I feel like this is kind of like an extension of the kitchen. So a lot of people use coffee table books when they decorate. I thought that this was kind of a cool way to get that look, but just with my cookbooks. So it's just very easy to access them when I need them, but they're also looking pretty on my shelves. So my breakfast room is completely destroyed right now because my table is outside drying. Um, so I'll bring that in in a little bit, but for now I wanna work on curtains. So I did order this curtain rod from Amazon. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell very well in the lighting, but it's called Warm Gold. I had thought it would be a little bit more brassy. In fact, I had ordered these uh, curtain rings to go with it, but as you can see, they do not match at all. So I ended up getting the same brand curtain rings and they just came today and they're gonna match perfect because uh, I do really like the rod. I'll show it to you. So this is the rod. It is one inch thick and it is expandable. I think something like um, 88 inches to 144 inches, but don't quote me. I will link it below though. Uh, but these are the finials and they're awesome. So I kind of wanted something that was like acrylic or glass in gold. I did think it was going to be a little bit more brassy and the pictures on the reviews, some people look brassy and some look more like this, which almost looks like it has a bronze undertone. Like if you look at the hardware, it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but it almost looks brown underneath, which is kind of weird and not exactly what I was going for, but I like the curtain rod enough that I'm just going to make it work. Who cares if I have multiple different gold tones in here? I don't really care. So um, we're gonna hang it up, but we're gonna go a little bit wider than the windows because I want the curtains to just hang right here. I don't want it really to block any of the window. There's not a ton of wall space on either side and I want it to cover you know, a bit of it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hang those now. rod is hung. I'm not gonna lie that was way harder than I thought it was going to be and I've hung lots of rods before but that one was a pain in my neck. Anyways I love the way it looks. It's kind of hard to tell. It's gold. It looks like a bronzy gold um, but it might look better in the daylight. Right now it's getting kind of dark but anyway I'm gonna show you the curtains I got. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon. I think they were $60 for the set. They are a velvet and they are pinch pleated. Um, I think they're only 28 inches wide, so I don't want to cover my actual windows because I have blinds and I use them and I like them. So uh, these are really just for decoration. I think the 28 inch might be enough, but if it's not, I might just get a second like set and just have two panels per side. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and hang these. They do come with these plastic curtain I don't even know what you call them, clips. 
but I'm not going to use those. I got these, um, they're also a gold. You just like poke them in and you can determine the height because these are adjustable, but they only seem to adjust down. I cannot figure out how to adjust them up, but regardless, I kind of want the gold anyway. I did already put one in, so that's where I'm gonna position them so that the uh, ring basically goes right at the top of the curtain, if that makes sense. I'm gonna link everything below, so uh, if you're looking for any of this stuff, you can find it easily, but I'm gonna show you how I do this. I'll do my best to explain this while you're watching, but basically there's a sharp part to these that goes in between the threads in the seam. So you're just gonna basically poke it. And if it's like too high or too low, you just are gonna take it out and catch a different thread so that it sits at the height you want it. So after living with the curtains for a couple of days, I knew I needed a second set of panels, but what I also wanna do is kind of customize these so they end up looking a little bit more fancy, I guess, with extra detail. So I found this trim on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $6 for this entire roll. And all I'm gonna do is hot glue this to the edge of the curtains. So the way you wanna do this is you want to glue or sew, you could do it both ways, uh, the, the trim to the inside edge of the curtains. So one side will go, like one curtain will get the trim on the right side and then one curtain will get the trim on the left side. That way when they meet in the middle, the trim would touch. Now, these are decorative curtains so I won't actually close them, but you'll get the idea when they're hung up. So that's all I'm doing here. I basically, I'm just uh, gluing a little bit of the trim over the top of the curtain so that it's like a clean edge and then all the way down um, and then I will like end it the same exact way just a little bit under the curtain folded under and glued and then this is the second panel and I'm going down the opposite side as you can tell so you'll see at the end where they meet in the middle. I want to take care of our, our cat dishes. As you can see, we have a water bowl that like fills itself and then Whiskers is eating out of the little small cat bowl. I want our cat bowls to be a little bit more aesthetic. They, we have this extra window right here. The cat bowls are going to go over here because I think that, that makes sense with the curtains being over here. Uh, they were kind of tucked in that corner right there. So I got a bowl from Amazon. I'll show you. This is the first time I've opened it, but um, as you can see, it's actually plastic, which is nice. I think I could throw these in the dishwasher probably. They have like a reeded effect, which is really pretty. And then it comes with this little gold stand. And what's cool about this bowl is it's meant to be elevated. So apparently for cats, 
One of the reasons that they spit up their food sometimes is the angle that they're eating at is not conducive to their digestion. So this being raised up, I guess is supposed to help the cats. And that's good because I have one cat who likes to get sick all the time. So I'm hoping this will help her. So I'm gonna wash these and we're gonna fill them and put them in place. And then we'll give a little tour.